Good morning. We're so thankful you're here with us. If this is your first time here at Westgate, please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the foyer for a special gift to let you know how glad we are that you're here. Please fill out the connection card in your bulletin and place it in the collection plate when it's passed. If you'd like the prayers of the Westgate Shepherds, be sure to fill out the back as well. Song packets with the worship service songs are available at the auditorium entrance. Also, be sure to stop by the information wall in the foyer to keep up with what's going on at Westgate. Our normal Wednesday class schedule has resumed. We have a number of new offerings this quarter, so please be sure to be here Wednesdays at 6.30. The Children's Ministry's Back to School Party is tonight from 4.30 to 6.30 in the gym. There will be hot dogs and a big slide as we celebrate the new school year. Life groups will kick off next week. If you would like to host a new life group, please contact the church office as soon as possible. Major James Nesmith was an avid golfer, but he was also a POW during the Vietnam War. He didn't let the confinements of his situation affect his hobby, however, as he would visualize himself playing 18 holes of golf each day, walking around his small cell, swinging an imaginary club, and watching a ball that only he could see soar into the distance. When he was rescued many years later, he once again took up the hobby he loved, this time playing actual rounds of golf instead of the imaginary ones he had visualized. To his surprise, despite being trapped in a small cell and not picking up a club during his imprisonment, he found that his scores actually were lower after his release than they were before he was captured, all because of the time he spent mentally working on his game. In Philippians, we are told, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. Our thoughts are powerful. Spend time training your mind. Read the Word of God. Spend time in prayer and meditation. And think thoughts that please God. Please stand for the reading of God's Word. <laughs> 